Hand hygiene is now regarded as one of the most important element of infection control activities. Contaminated hands are a primary source of pathogen spreading, especially for respiratory and diarrheal infections. Proper hand hygiene decreases the proliferation of microorganisms, thus reducing infection risk. According to CDC, hand hygiene is the single most important practice in the reduction of the transmission of infection in the healthcare setting. The skin serves as a protective barrier against water loss, heat loss, microorganisms, and other environmental hazards. But less protective areas are eyes, nose and mouth. That's why touch your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands can cause spreading infection from other people or surfaces when you touch them. Key times to wash hands. Before and after preparing or eating food. Before and after caring for someone who is sick. After using the toilet. After blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. After touching an animal. After touching any contaminated or dirty things. Follow these five steps every time. Wet your hands with clean, running water, warm or cold, turn off the tap, and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Rinse your hands well under clean, running water. Dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Washing hands with soap and water is the best way to get rid of germs in most situations. If soap and water are not readily available, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Hand sanitizers may not be as effective when hands are visibly dirty or greasy. Handwashing practices as a patient care began in the early 19th century.